So I'm in one of our international conventional school buses. I'm going to do a demo on the auto pre trip light check. And the keys on an accessory and just a little lamp button on the left side of the dash. Hit that. And all the lights do their thing. The only thing that doesn't work in the system is the stop sign lights. You know, the cross gate and the backup light. But everything else, you do a bulb check. Your headlights, high low beam signals, pre-warning and loading the light uh, system. And then you can just, while you're doing the pre-trip, do a walk around. It times out, but you get plenty of uh, I don't know how much time is on the system, but we give you plenty of time to check it out. I say the backup lights don't work, but uh, in our yard we've got some uh, large convex mirrors at the field dock so the drivers can check the rear view and while they're driving away. And this uh, Everything's LED, of course. This is a, what's well, the 2016, but they started using LED years ago. And I'm a believer, because they last for years. You know, they're expensive to buy, but it, it's, when I mean, you consider all the maintenance on the old uh, incandescent lights, they get corroded. They're not sealed like an LED. And the only disadvantage is in the winter time, when you get snow in the back end, there's no heat. The LEDs, they only draw like, you know, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 amps, so they don't, like the old um, incandescent that's actually worn the touch on the lens, so it kept the snow off. But the drivers just have to stop and once in a while and brush them off. But it's a great system, it's programmed in all the new buses, and I think it's a great idea.